Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my super easy and delicious beef and broccoli. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to begin by prepping our meat. Here I have one pound and a half of flank steak. And I'm just, I already cleaned it, so now I'm just going to cut it in half. Okay, so we're going to cut it again in half. And now we're just going to cut it into strips, cutting against the grain. Okay, so once we have our meat, now we're going to season it with one and a half teaspoons of white pepper and one and a half teaspoons of garlic salt. And to tenderize, we're going to be using one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So just sprinkle it over your meat. And make sure that it gets all nice and coated. And I forgot to mention to make sure that your meat is at room temperature and also make sure that you pat it dry before um, cutting into strips. So once we have our meat, we're going to set it to the side and now we're going to make our sauce. For our sauce, we're going to be mixing half a cup of beef broth, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster flavored sauce, one tablespoon of sesame seed oil, four and a half teaspoons of brown sugar, and this is optional, but I'm also going to be adding three fourths of a teaspoon of chili flakes. We're just going to mix it. And you can taste it to see if you want to adjust the brown sugar or the um, soy sauce. But for me, this is perfect, so we're going to set it to the side. And to make our slurry, we're going to be mixing one tablespoon of cornstarch with one tablespoon of water. And just mix it. This is just going to thicken up our sauce. So the ones we have that we're going to set it to the side and begin cooking. Okay, I'm going to be using my wok, set it on high heat and allow it to get nice and hot. Okay, so once it's nice and hot, we're going to add one tablespoon of canola or peanut oil. Make sure that you pour it around the wok. Add half of our meat, just until it gets nice and golden or for about two minutes. Okay, so we're just going to move our meat around. Allow it to get nice and brown. Okay, and after a couple minutes, our meat should be nice and brown. So we're going to remove it from the wok. We're going to add more oil. And repeat the process to the rest of our meat. Okay, so once we have browned our meat, remove it. And now we're going to clean our wok by deglazing it with some water. I'm going to be using a kitchen towel and just clean it up. Okay, returning to our wok, we're going to be adding more oil. And now we're going to be cooking our broccoli in half as well. And I'm adding onion, so half of the onion. And I'm just going to be cooking it for a couple minutes or until the broccoli gets nice and green. Okay, so after two minutes, our broccoli is nice and bright and the onions are nice and translucent. We're going to remove it, place it with the meat, add more oil, and cook the rest of the onion and the broccoli. Okay, so before our broccoli and onion are ready, we're going to be adding one tablespoon of fresh ginger and one tablespoon of fresh garlic. And just give it a couple seconds just until you begin to smell the ginger and the garlic. Okay, and we're just going to return everything back together. Mix it. Okay, we're going to add our sauce. Give it a couple minutes. Just allow all of the flavors to come together. Okay, and after a couple minutes, we're going to be adding our slurry. Mix it in there. And just mix it all together. And just like that, it's done. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I'm just going to be serving a bed of white rice. Look at that. I am so ready. Don't forget the meat. 
Okay, so now we can enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that this recipe is seriously fast, super easy and very delicious under 50 minutes you got yourself you know beef and broccoli and the best part is you know that um, if you want your meat to be more covered in sauce then you can adjust it by adding more of the beef broth but for me this is perfect it still with the rice it's just perfect um, if you would like your broccoli to be more on the mushy side then just cook it longer for me this is the perfect consistency, but I am so ready, so I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. I'm going to start with the broccoli. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Of course, the meat. Mmm. So tender, so flavorful. It's not mushy. The sauce, so, so delicious. Now to my preference, I like the sauce to be a little bit on the spicier side, but you know, my family doesn't enjoy it that way. Uh, so if you don't like your sauce to be spicy at all, then just skip on the chili flakes, but this is so good. Mm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it at home. Make it super easy and delicious beef and broccoli. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.